a little snow never hurt anyone. So I was going to the pharmacy, but I forgot today is a, a holiday, so everything was closed. So I figured I'd take a little walk. Yesterday was all sunny and, you know, warm, a little bit windy, but, you know. And when I woke up this morning, there was like a blizzard outside. As usual, this is like all normal, normal in Sweden. We have like these shifts. So around April, May, it starts to really get better. But before then, it's like anyone's guess of what's gonna happen. Maybe it doesn't come across on camera, but it's really a lot of snow. <laughs> oh, squirrel in the tree. this place before and the, the sides were a lot clearer on that branch eh, right over there how you doing <laughs> my, my glasses are even fogging up a big stretch of white so I'm gonna head up that path over there probably see something more interesting so I walked this path like two times before so there's like this kind of fence down there it's an old uh, style of how they used to make it so they use like wooden branches and they stack them in a very specific way so that what will be coming up will make all, all sense but there's like sticks at like straight angles and then sticks that are put against those and like to a 40 to 40 degree, degree angle and make it so so thick I think in, it's hard to translate, but the Swedish term is called Jashgård. Kind of one of those words. But uh, basically an old type of fence. They used it in like cow barns and or sort of areas we had like animals and around houses and stuff. It seems like the snow is being reduced. Maybe it's just a thicket of the of the forest at large, I guess. Don't need, even know if you can hear it, but there is like a bell, church bell in the distance. So I always liked this place. There's something about, you know, certain types of forest area they just you know, feel like they're a bit magical. You know, you can't really put the finger on it. There's something about it. Something about the roots and trees maybe, or the foliage. The canopies at large maybe. Oh yeah, those things are used for like hikers, or not hikers, but they have this like, they have maps and they do kind of search for these kind of location, find them. And they have like these, which I can show you, have like these paper things you clip. So you take your paper and you clip it between these things, you get a mark. So this is like the 41th position. 
to use these for like simple navigation. It's, it's basically like a sport, like getting getting the course done as fast as possible and getting as many checkpoints as well as correct as they can be. <laughs> but usually those things happen in the summer and spring when it is a lot warmer, I guess. can't even see the uh, <laughs> that far into the distance <laughs> so I always like these kind of areas they have like small kind of rest rest areas along the road like like benches and stuff and uh, I think you can actually see it like just like a watchtower right over there Maybe it's for birds or something because. Yep, exactly that. Birds. <laughs> There's a lot of bird life. This used to be, um, I think I said it before, but uh, basically the area right over there is like, like a marsh area kind of. So small bridge system you can walk on out there. So the water level used to be a lot higher. So I really like these trees. I don't even know what they're called, but yeah. And also coming up the type of fences that I was talking about earlier. And they, they kind of remind me of like, as I said before, like old farms and kind of places where you kept cattle and stuff. Kind of an interesting type of way of actually building a fence because it's not that common use anymore. So I always felt like probably you know, if you, if you walk like a hundred or two hundred meters ahead, you will come up on a medieval village or something. So I haven't really walked that far just ahead of this road. I don't even know where it leads, but maybe some other time where. When uh, on my vacation, maybe when it's a lot warmer, I can take the bike and probably explore more. Yeah, Urskogen. Well, that's an uh, ancient forest, I guess. Uh, left un unspoiled since the forties. The only thing they did was move some trees and stuff. Yeah. Definitely an interesting place to, to look at later. If it's really been, been untouched for that long, except for like maybe some, some occasional woodworks that that would be cool to see. But that's not where we're going. We're going out there into the swamp. <laughs> So coming up on the bird tower in the distance. So I'm not gonna climb it because of all the snow and ice and stuff. It's gonna be really slippery. I know that for a fact. It probably, it probably, it probably would be a bad idea to even cross like the the walkways over the marsh or swamp area. But well, I got nothing better to do. And exercise is really good. Starting to get really cold also. And this is why it's a bit dangerous. You know, like the snow and all the slipperiness of it all. But now you can actually see it like like all the, the type of things that actually grows because of the, the marsh. And it's like a vast 
landscape. So it's actually kind of haunting and kind of scary, but I'm not gonna look directly into the camera while walking. I'm gonna focus just on walking and talking, I guess. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh man. Oh, the smell also. <clears throat> it smells a bit like sewage water, which, which probably is like, well, it's logical. You can even hear the dripping from the, from the planks. I walk really careful. I don't think it's even that deep, but just like it's a gamble. I mean, if I fall in, I will probably freeze, freeze to death though. It probably is like just a couple of degrees plus Celsius. At least for you guys who doesn't know, like zero degrees is the when water freeze. It's really quiet though. So I've always liked how how like nature kind of works. I mean, it's kind of amazing. Like how insignificant oneself is to the grander scheme of things. Peaceful and calm. She hasn't like even a worry in this world. And some ducklings. This is also a, a clear indication of who's in charge out here. I mean. I mean, we have made maybe build the paths and everything and the bridges, but uh, nature says, oh well, there's a tree here. <laughs> I'm putting it here. Some more ducks. <sighs> Time to show off some ninja skills. Uh, yeah, but like. It was a good thing that I didn't film me trying to cross that log because I <laughs> I almost fell in the water. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, the trunks were all wet. So I just put my foot like like right over there and I was like happy there was like a branch right there. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I, I mean, that's funny. I wonder what he's standing on. Probably has to be something under the uh, surface. Doesn't have a care in the world though. I'll be freezing if I'm, I was in that water though. <laughs> Not well. So here you can actually see the road that I took. So I were in this forest area. Walk down, round, there's the bird watch tower. Walked around all this way. Now we're here. So the last time I was here, there was like a, a fire that was ongoing. Oh, it doesn't seem to be any anything activity be well beyond the actual birds, I guess, chirping. So I think that will make it for this video. So take care. Have a nice one.